Who had the biggest fall from grace in history? Jimmy Savile. Mega famous UK radio DJ and TV presenter. Did a ton of charity work. Was a knight of the realm. Post death, he was revealed to be a massive paedophile, protected and ignored by those around him for decades. Edit Savile, not Savile. Ian Watkins, former singer of the Welsh emo rock band Lost Prophets. Massively successful band in the scene. Turns out he dealt meth to fans to abuse them and then rape their babies' toddlers. Yes, you read right. I almost threw up when I read the indictment. Locked away for life, that one. The band has erased all music from all services as far as possible. It's tainted forever. Aaron Burr he was vice president of the United States when he shot and killed Alexander Hamilton in a duel. The duel killed Burr's political career he was dropped from Thomas Jefferson's ticket in the 1804 election and he couldn't even win an election for governor of New York. In 1805, Burr plotted to invade Spanish territories and create his own empire with a side plot to incite a revolution against the United States. In 1807, Burr was put on trial for treason, and he narrowly escaped a conviction. Benedict Arnold. Hero General of the American Revolution. One of George Washington's best assets. Felt slighted and overlooked by his contemporaries. Switched sides to the British, made no difference to the war effort. Died in disgrace in England. His name is now a synonym for traitor. Edit since this is getting some attention, for anyone interested in learning more about the man, I highly recommend watching Benedict Arnold A Question of Honor, a TV movie from 2003. Starring Aidan Quinn as Arnold and Kelsey Grammer as Washington. Jared Fogel. Robes Pierre. Harvey was Hollywood when he got outed for the POS he is, but this guy produced just naming the top three The Lord of the Rings trilogy, two every Tarantino movie except Hollywood, and three Good Will Hunting and subsequently about every Damon or Affleck project from that time to his downfall. He's won more Oscars than any person could ever dream and has made more money off films than maybe anyone ever. That man. I think he fell the furthest, the hardest and the fastest. Well deserved though. Well fucking deserved. OJ has to be up there. Bill Cosby. He was never the biggest star, but Mark Salling's fall from grace was massive. Went from the star of a prime time show to charge with child porn and dead in a matter of months. Chris Benoit. He was famous as a pro wrestler until he murdered his wife and child. Roses are red, violets are glorious, don't try to surprise. Oscar Pistorius. By the time I was a child, Bill Cosby was so universally recognized as an icon of wholesome comedy that one of the most popular kids' shows of my youth was literally just a cartoon about his childhood. Now the legacy of that little cartoon show is tainted by the very subject of the show itself. That's a fall from grace. From being trusted to be a part of your kid's formative years, to becoming one of the most vile and disliked man of all time. Not the biggest, but Army Hammer casually outing himself as a cannibal was pretty big. Edit there is a docuseries about it called House of Hammer. Jim Jones. He originally stood up for civil rights then he became a cult leader. From a civil rights leader to cult murderer who was responsible for more than 900 deaths. Philippe Petin would be one. Icarus. Benedict Arnold has to be on this list. Dude went from a war hero to having his name be synonymous with traitor. Benedict Arnold would be celebrated as the second most important founding father after George Washington if not no. Lance Armstrong. Not the farthest, but Phil Spector is worth a dishonorary mention. Andy Dick's fall from grace is pretty interesting and rightfully deserved. Not the biggest fall, but Charles Lineberg deserves to be in the conversation. After making the historic first solo transatlantic flight, and gaining the sympathy of many after the kidnapping and murder of his son, he promoted American neutrality in World War II. Though he reversed his stance after the attack on Pearl Harbor, many had already branded him a Nazi sympathizer. 
he eventually did rehabilitate his image, but after his death, it came out that he had three separate secret families throughout Europe. So I guess it's a mixed legacy at best. Lance Armstrong's reputation shit the bed pretty enthusiastically. The bracelets didn't help. Jeffrey Epstein. People forget how ex-presidents and celebrities were lining up to suck this guy's dick until it all went horribly wrong. Doc Hudson. Kevin Spacey. Was once my favorite actor but now I can't look at him the same in any of his works. I'd say King Edward VIII had a pretty big fall. I knew watching The Crown would pay off some day. Jeffrey Epstein went from rubbing elbows with world royals and the wealthiest elites of the world to hanging himself in prison all alone. Ian Watkins from the band Lost Profits. Andrew Cuomo has got to be up there. He was a huge media darling during Covid, wrote a book about how well he did, was being floated as a presidential candidate, then the sexual harassment and handling of nursing homes made him fall almost overnight. Jared from Subway. Milli Vanilli. Hitler was actually praised by world leaders at the time of his rise. I forget what controversy brought him down though. Napoleon. Went from being emperor and having control over half of Europe to being exiled on a tiny island. Of course, he came back. But it was short-lived and he got exiled again to an even more remote island LMAO. Edit of course Napoleon has a huge legacy, not arguing that, but I still think it's a major fall from grace, at least in his time. I guess it depends on how you want to look at it. Nate from Ted Lasso Lucifer Dude literally coined the term. Michael Vick is the big sports one I usually think of that's not the obvious ones like OJ. John Wilkes Booth Jim Baker. Crassus. One of the richest man alive in Roman history, and one of the three triumvirate with Caesar and Mark Antony. Then he died by liquid gold being poured down his throat. Edit Pompey not Mark Antony. Edit 2 OK there appears to be varied stories about his death. Another version is that he was killed in battle and Parthians poured liquid gold down his throat afterwards as mockery. Regardless, pretty humiliating way to go for someone who accomplished so much. Bernie Madoff Sam Bankman Fried's fall has been both impressive and sudden. The story isn't nearly over, but that was one hell of a Ponzi scheme he created. I listen to news updates on Google Home and I think it's Reuters that's sponsored by EY and they always have some expert from their firm dole out a tiny amount of advice as a baited hook. Until last week it they were saying how employees wanted their organizations to engage in crypto a weird claim in itself and how they were experts and ready to help. Suddenly they ain't running that intro any longer. Aung San Suu Kyi Won a Nobel Peace Prize freeing her country from the grip of military rule, then years later used that military power to oppress the Rohingya Muslims. Rudy Giuliani Humpty Dumpty Creepy porn lawyer Michael Avenatti. Virtually overnight he went from an unknown to rumored to be a serious contender for president. Weeks later he was disbarred, arrested, and now serving prison time for multiple felonies. Maybe one of the quickest rises from obscurity to complete disgrace. It was a wild ride. 